Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I think it's been three weeks since I uploaded a video, but do you notice something different? I'm pretty sure you do. My video for you today is definitely a bajillion steps higher than my usual videos, and that is because I got new lighting equipment as well as filming equipment, so hopefully I'll be giving you guys better quality videos and hopefully I'll be filming a lot more. I know what you think about the video quality, the lighting and everything. I know I look super pale. It's the winter time, but yeah, that's... That's life. I am going to be talking about a makeup brand that is pretty amazing because it's mineral makeup first, it's vegan, it's cruelty free, and it's all natural. So these four things are probably one of the most popular things that women nowadays are looking for in makeup because a lot of women are more concerned with skin issues and anti-aging stuff and also cr animal cruelty and um, pretty much just being more healthy and just being more safe when it comes to makeup and I'm talking about the advanced mineral makeup line and if you haven't heard of this makeup line then just go to my blog and I talk about it there I introduce you to the brand I tell you everything I think about the the makeup line like the pros and the cons I have pictures for you guys and all that really good stuff these are the two products that I reviewed and honestly this has been delayed for so long. I got this I think last month but first of all I was breaking out and I had to wait for my skin to heal before I used this again because I wanted to know if it was the cost of the breakout or if it was something else. The liquid foundation I think retails for about $44 and it has a lot of benefits for your skin like if you have issues with acne, rosacea, if you have hyperpigmentation and stuff like that. It comes in 1 fluid ounce or 30 ml and let me just say how awesome it is that it comes in this pump bottle. Um, I really love foundations that have pumps because it's so convenient and it's so much more sanitary and I love that the packaging is very very sleek. It's good for any skin type. I do have oily skin and it's a perfect, perfect experiment to, to use this foundation on my skin. First of all, I tried it without a primer and a setting spray and I have to admit that it did not last that long like considering my oiliness because I have really very, very oily skin. Um, it lasted probably around four hours, but using a primer and a setting spray, it pretty much lasted the whole day and it looked really nice and well settled on my skin. So that's one of the things that I wanted to, to address since they say that it's good for all skin types. And second of all, it has, I don't, I, would, I wouldn't call it glitter, but it has these reflective um, micro glitters I did say glitter, but I don't know how else to call them. But when you look at the liquid foundation, when, when it sets on your skin really closely, when you look at it, it has those reflective, reflective um, micro glitters. And you will see in my demonstration let, later what I'm talking about because it is going to give your skin a very, very beautiful, dewy, healthy glow. It's used in the set of Grace Anatomy and NCIS. So... It is really camera friendly and I actually have it on right now, so what do you think? I am on camera with lighting and everything, so yeah, you be the judge. But I do have a demonstration uh, without any anything else except foundation and eyebrows. Really nice because it sets well on my skin. Um, it doesn't really settle on my fine lines, which is a huge plus for me because I really hate it when foundation settle on my laugh lines. Um, it's been an issue for me for forever and even though I use a really good primer and set it and all that stuff, it still happens. But with this foundation, it doesn't and that is a huge plus for me. For me. Now the downside is um, it doesn't really have like the coverage I need. I, I don't have acne right now and I don't have major issues with my skin but I do have scars and um, redness on my face um, but the redness it really does cover but the scars it doesn't really cover that well just because it is a light it's a sheer 
to light medium light medium is there such a thing it's like a sheer to medium coverage but it's definitely buildable um, I usually use two layers uh, on my skin and of course I reinforce that with concealer because the the hyper hyper pigmented um, pimple scars are still quite visible and I really don't like that so that's the only major downside for me and um, but if you have perfectly normal skin with no major issues like heavy scarring then definitely this foundation is really great for every day um, because it just looks like skin and it has these really nice micro glitters that make you look so freaking healthy um, and glowy and dewy that you don't even have to bother with foundation, I mean with highlighter. So, um, the only advice that I could give for you guys when it comes to the whole micro glitter thing is that use matte blush and matte contouring powder because then you're going to look like a freaking twilight vampire if you don't. Trust me, I've tried it. I did this prior to realizing that they have micro glitter. For more information about the liquid foundation pictures and how many shades they are available in and what my shade is, go to my blog post. I will link it there. It's just a quick click on the description box and you can go to my blog post. Let's move on to the powder. The powder, I really love the packaging. It's very sturdy. It's very simple and chic looking. Um, it's durable because this fell a couple of times and it's, it didn't break or anything like that. And I love that the mirror is like a decent mirror, like you can actually use it. Some powders, um, their compacts have really, I don't know, useless mirrors and they're not big enough for me, like for my taste anyway. So I love this powder because it has beneficial effects on the skin as well, just like the um, liquid foundation. And it has sunscreen. So did I mention that this has sunscreen? So you have additional sunscreen for um, your skin with this powder. And it doubles up as a concealer as well. And also, it doesn't settle on my fine lines just like the foundation, which is really great. And I really did take note of that. Like, I would really check my skin after hours um, if it did settle on my fine lines. And surprisingly, it didn't. So it, it was really a huge plus for me. It helps a lot with my oiliness. Um, if I don't use a primer or a setting spray, um, it probably will last around like six hours. But if I do use a primer, it will last the whole day. So for more information about this powder, just go to my blog. I will talk about it there a lot more with the detailed description and all that good stuff. So let's move on to the demonstration. And okay, before we move on to the demonstration, this is pretty high quality, so you are gonna see every imperfection on my face. I don't have any active pim pimples right now, but I do have scars from healed pimples. So just, you know, just, you know, just be nice. Already primed my face using my Urban Decay Face Primer. So I'm gonna head on to my foundation. I'm gonna use two to three pumps. This is enough if you have normal skin without any major scarring that needs extra coverage. But I will be using two layers. And the great thing about this foundation is that it doesn't feel heavy on the face. It doesn't feel like you have foundation on even if you have more than one layer. I did apply my under eye concealer and highlighted my forehead and my chin with my Maybelline Dream Lumi which is a staple in my foundation routine and I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my powder. As you can see it does have that reflective feature to it and I love how it comes off on the camera. Okay, this is the best part for me. Um, I have a treat for you guys, and I know I've been MIA on my YouTube channel for a long time. I wanted to make up for it, so in collaboration with Advanced Mineral Makeup, I'm going to be holding a giveaway, and this giveaway is going to feature an Advanced Mineral Makeup prize as well as a special gift bag from me, 
and you can read all about it on my blog post. All the details and the rules and everything are going to be on my blog post, not in the description box, but the, the link to the blog post is in the description box. So just go ahead and go to my blog post read the rules and the full details about the giveaway and I really do encourage you guys to join. It's going to be so much fun and once again you're going to be receiving a prize from Advanced Room Makeup and from me. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will be coming up with two more videos or hopefully more than that and as usual I'm probably going to be uploading it simultaneously because that's what I do. That's just me. Um, thank you once again for watching this. Let me know what you think about the video quality. I hope it's a lot better. We'll see you in my next video. Bye!